In this recording, we look at calculation of probabilities in a binomial distribution using statistical tables. And just to make you aware that while the tables we use here are in a fairly standard format, the appearance and exact nature of statistical tables can vary a bit from one publication to the next. Let's also just recall what we mean by a binomial distribution. Assume x is a Bernoulli random variable which takes values 0 for failure and 1 for success. Then when we're looking at a binomial distribution, a Bernoulli trial is repeated n independent times. There is a constant probability of success p and the random variable x is defined as the total number of successes out of n trials. The probability that x out of n trials result in a success is then given by n choose x, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. So that's n choose x telling us the number of ways that x out of the n trials can be a success then probability of a success to the power of x times probability of a failure to the n minus x. So that's our formula for the binomial distribution. However, clearly this gets quite time consuming in hand calculations. So therefore, tables are often used as a quicker, more convenient method of getting the required results. So here's our first example. The probability to win in a fundraising lottery is 0 0.3. What's the probability that exactly two out of five tickets win? So this is a binomial distribution problem. But is it a PDF or a CDF? Well here we're looking at what is the probability that exactly two out of five tickets win? That is we're wanting the probability that the number of successes x is equal to two. Therefore probability of exactly a certain number of successes, that is probability of x equal to something, it must be a PDF. So we're going to be using the binomial PDF tables, like the one shown here. Now let's look at the parameters. We want two out of five tickets, so n equals five is the total number of trials, and we're also told the probability to win in the lottery is 0.3. So that's P, the probability of success. So now let's have a look at how this table is set out. First you'll see that in the leftmost column we have N, which is the number of trials altogether, which was five in this case. And this is just a section of a table, it would go on for longer, but we're just showing a relevant part here. Then we have X, the actual required number of successes, which was two here. So that's there, while across the top, these numbers across the top actually represent P, the probability of success. In this case that was 0 0.3. So we go to the required intersection of these values, which in this case gives us the value 0 0.309. That is the probability of exactly two winning tickets was 0 0.309. So let's continue on with the same general scenario where we had five tickets, so n equals five, and where the probability of a winning ticket was 0 0.3. That is the probability of success p was 0 0.3. But now let's ask the question, what is the probability that less than three of the tickets win? Now it is no longer asking about exactly a certain number of tickets winning, it's now looking at less than a certain number, or a range of values in other words. So this will be a CDF problem, which means we need to use a binomial CDF table. Furthermore, does that mean we should use the value 3 for x in the CDF table? And actually no it does not, because the cumulative distribution function always gives a probability that random variable x is less than or equal to a certain value. And if we think about a discrete distribution, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the possibilities in this example where we had five trials. And so having a look at this, in this particular case only 0, 1 or 2 
or satisfy it being less than three winning tickets. So therefore, we actually in this table require the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 here. So let's have a look at that in the table. You'll notice in other ways the CDF table has a similar layout to the PDF table for our previous example. Five trials, but in this case x less than or equal to 2 and then probability of success, this is still P up the top, so that's 0 0.3. So in this case, the required probability is 0 0.837. So those are a couple of examples to introduce you to the binomial distribution and how to use tables to calculate probabilities. And these two examples have both used tables directly, but sometimes you might get a case where you just need to extend it a bit in particular, suppose same scenario, we've got five tickets, so n equals five, probability of success is 0.3, but suppose we'd said what is the probability that at least three tickets win? So that would have been the probability of x greater than or equal to three. Well, that's if you look at the scenario again and all the possibilities, at least three is the complement or opposite of less than or equal to 2 in this case. So that can actually be calculated as 1 minus the probability of x less than or equal to 2. And from our previous example, we saw that the probability of x less than or equal to 2 was just 0.837. Therefore, the probability of at least 3 tickets winning will be 1 minus 0.837 which works out to be 0.163. So these are some examples of calculating probabilities in the binomial distribution using statistical tables.